I met 51-year-old Molly Aquino a month ago at a food pantry where I was covering a story. He did not look or seem homeless, but he said he would be willing to tell us more about how he survives. It's a quiet block in an upscale neighborhood on Manhattan's east side. Most people walk by and don't even notice what's right under their noses. But look a little closer and you'll find a cardboard house Molly Aquino calls home. Molly? You there? It's Melissa. Uh, Hi there, how you doing? I'm all right. Not all right, but surviving. I have to build a box house in order to get in it. It takes me about a half hour. I hide my boxes, I hide my sleeping bag, and every night I'll come and I'll lay down a cardboard on the floor. Molly showed us the scars on his body from a hit and run accident he says left him disabled and unable to work. He says he became homeless and hasn't been able to qualify for housing in part because he's not interested in dealing with the homeless shelter system. Wouldn't it be safer for you to go inside? You know, it's not safer for me to go inside a shelter. Uh, I've been to shelters, I got beat up in two shelters already. This is not easy. Being homeless is not easy. A lot of people think I don't want to work. Molly's story touched our viewers. Dozens called and emailed to ask how to help. Others recognized the stoop and headed straight there in the cold. I don't know how they found me, but they knocked on the box. It's hard to imagine feeling blessed on this rainy January night when you're carrying your bed made of cardboard. But lately, Molly Aquino feels like he just hit the jackpot. I'm not rich, but it does feel like I'm rich, you know? On Thursday, he called to say a $2,300 Social Security check had arrived, along with a promise of another $761 a month. It's a big difference from, from being broke. I really believe what changed was the fact that NBC News uh, uh, made my case.